Thank you, Andrew. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Whenever we have meetings in this particular part of the building, um, I take the opportunity for those of you who may be here for the first time to always remind you what an extraordinary moment it was when the, the world community, but also the United States and the city of New York set out on this project called the United Nations. And, you know, in this very hall that you are sitting here now over the past few decades, um, extraordinary things have happened from time to time. Also, extraordinary failures of not acting have also occurred. But um, it is a place in which I think it is always worth reminding oneself of how powerful and how ambitious a vision underpinned the idea of establishing a United Nations in, in the, the catharsis and the crisis following the Second World War. And it always is a useful thing to remind oneself because particularly when we initiate new initiatives, there are always those, and usually it's the majority, who are skeptical and who doubt it and who think it's not doable and we will not succeed. So I want to simply use this morning's venue that we're in to say how delighted I am on behalf of UNDP to, to join on this occasion of uh, the Good Growth Partnership really taking off. And Naoko, to you, in particular, it's wonderful to work together with you again. We know each other since many years and um, have just had a chance to meet before the beginning of our session this morning to review also the very close partnership that the United Nations Development Program and the Global Environment Facility enjoy. And the, the Good Growth Partnership is an excellent example of the kind of incubation, and some of you come more out of the financial and um, perhaps impact investment sectors Part of what we do and what we can do by having the resources of a facility such as the GEF, the institutional platform, for instance, of an institution such as UNDP, which operates in 170 countries across the world, that has 17,000 staff working every day with partners in government, in civil society, in the private sector on issues that very much also include the center of attention of this initiative here, but also with the International Finance Corporation, with my former colleagues of UNEP-FI, and I don't know, are they here this morning, uh, UNEP-FI? Um, where is the hand? Yeah, ah, over there, excellent. And also World Wide Fund for Nature and Conservation International, and the many others who have already been part of the Brain Trust, uh, as Andrew also, I think, was referring to just now, of bringing about this initiative. To those of you who may know that I used to also serve um, for a number of years as the Executive Director of the United Nations Environment Program, you will not be surprised that from my vantage point this initiative is long overdue. And perhaps it is not even that it is unique, but it is unique in the particular <coughs> ecosystem in which we are seeking to operate. The ideas that underpin the notion of trying to go up the supply chain, trying to deal with ideas that have to do with production, demand and finance when it comes to agricultural commodities, their impact on land use, uh, food security and poverty reduction and linking, if you want, the objectives of a developmentally focused narrative with those of a sustainable planet. And in many respects, as Naoko will know, pursuing this idea that I often feel more comfortable in referring to the the green economy of the future, an inclusive green economy of the future in which we no longer have to constantly retrofit for signals in our economy, consumption and production patterns that on the one hand deplete and then require us to invest an enormous amount of time, energy, finance to recover resources that we have lost. Agriculture in the 21st century is fundamental, it's foundational to our very existence. And ironically, it has also become, over the last 100, 150 years, one of the greatest threats to the future of a sustainable planet, whether it is in terms of its consumption footprint, whether it is in terms of its pollution footprint, whether it is in terms of the production model that increasingly is forcing farmers to become miners of their very own resources because of the way that the agricultural economy functions today and pushes farmers increasingly with their marginal costs basically with their backs against the wall. These are the kinds of economic incentives and also regulatory frameworks for a market that should be functioning to the benefit of farming communities who earn their livelihoods off the land, who need to invest in long-term productivity of land, 
but equally to feeding a world that can't afford the luxury of paying extremely expensive food prices, and so on and so on. It is for this reason that I wanted to join you here this morning together with Naoko to first of all thank our partners who have helped to make this partnership come alive, to thank all of you who have traveled to be here today to be part of that community that will make this partnership more than just an initiative by a number of institutions. Every now and then, a consortium of actors becomes a touchstone in a community. Our hope is that this partnership could indeed be that touchstone that so many are looking for in terms of orienting their future corporate strategies, informing public policy, also enlightening the public about their power and capacity through their demand and consumption patterns to change the markets of the future in which the kind of ideas that we are proposing here are not just something that comes from the top down because science tells us it is urgent and imperative, but it actually begins to empower a different model of development, of an agricultural economy, and therefore also of an existence for a farmer who often is at the front line of very conflicting signals in which they operate. So once again, on behalf of the United Nations Development Program, thank you for joining, thank you for being here today, and to our partners for having made this kind of coalition possible. We look forward to working with you and hopefully to meet from time to time, maybe here again, and um, say to ourselves, we actually made a difference. Thank you. <laughs>